Hi. I learned something interesting yesterday. I never, ever knew what the term meant. I just knew I wasn't one of them. A stone. Oh, Pete just finally got my text. I've been texting you for a long time, and he's not been getting them. Anyway. A stone hard butch. I'm, I'm a soft butch. I'm cute and cuddly. Well... I know a lot of things about a lot of things. Mostly, anyway. I didn't know this. So, I'm going to share. This is something the empaths, Pisces, generally lesbians do well. Uh, this one, anyway. I share well. I think sharing makes things more enjoyable. And you can share it. Um... I wish I had had my hot pies about two hours ago. Now they need to be warmed again. But I was busy. There's a neighbor who isn't living here anymore, but she still hates me enough to spread her gossip and her lies. So, uh, yay for straight people. Anyway, a stone-hard butch is someone who does gives sex but doesn't enjoy sex. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I don't know where I would even come into my range of knowing. Although I was digging through books this afternoon because I'm in a hot pursuit of the one that needs to go to California. I found one uh, like a Dorothy and the Stone Hard Butch. And, you know, before I just would overlook that, you know, think, oh, that's nothing. But now, now I know what it is. I know what ex what it is. <laughs> you know, I probably could live another 100,000 years without knowing that, but my sister finds me to be a labeler. I'm not a labeler. I mean, I it took me 40 years to come out of the closet because of who my family is and where I lived in a small town in rural Iowa. I hadn't met my first gay person till I was 36 was working in the Black Hills of South Dakota. There are even fewer of us there than there are here in Iowa. So, um, there isn't a label that says tomboy, but that's who I am. I'm a tomboy. But now I know that. Now I have to delete three books because it seems weird to me that... Uh, no, I guess I'm not reading. That one doesn't have any holes in it. It does. It has a little one. For some reason, uh, bookworms, book, whatever they want to be called, uh, likes to eat paperback books. And this is the first book that I found that is hardcover that they enjoyed to. Unless that was dust. Nope. See, do you see them? They're little tiny holes in a book. Little, little tiny ones. Do you see them up there? Those are wormholes. Makes my 100 year old book. Uh. Written by Luther, or, well, written in honor of Luther by William Ballman. A valueless value to me. So I'm taking it off my list and throwing it away. I guess I'm going to keep this book. I thought it had wormholes in it. It doesn't, so it's going back to the books in the front room. No, it's... I, I tore it this morning. They had bent the cover and I ripped it a little bit so I'm not going to sell it. So I really love this writer. I'm in poor light. I got a kitten behind me. And I had several of these. Um, Indiana Jones. I only had one of the Last Crusade and 
has a wormhole. See it? Do you see it? There it is. See it? They burrow right on through. They really have a face for themselves. And see? That's what they do to books. I thought it usually only happened up at the cabin by our fireplace, but my ex, Sherry, uh, my friend Sherry, I should say, left a really cool cabinet. It's a dresser in my front room. And um, she's painted like a big pair of lips. I'm going to take that off what I have listed and throw it away. It's a really good book, but I'm not going to sell it. I don't sell crap. Bye. Till we meet again.